Cadmium Vulture to Tony Creates and a bit of a U-turn here. Okay, to hold all projects. No Excel journal for the moment because I have a baby shower to do. Anyway, I'll tell you that in a minute. First of all, I want to, I made a note, guys, I made a note. And I want to ma uh, thank Mary Schum Schumacher, Shoemaker, Brant, Tattered Paper Lace and Janice P for the lovely kind comments on my, on my uh, videos. And actually J Janet Shoemaker gave me a bit of a an idea maybe we'll do it on friday about doing the flowers on um on paper if you don't have a cricket machine how would you make the paper flowers so we'll do that anyway like i said i now do have to do this baby shower booklet okay so a friend of mine's arranging a shower for another lady for a friend another friend and she says oh tony just go ahead and make one of your journals so that's like i said excuse me have you ever watched one of my videos oh no i said well it's not just the make anyway so she wants a book to put all these um these little uh, advice for parenting it's like a fun thing your name so she'll know who was at her party and we are so whatever for you this baby's going to be never leave the house without and always remember to sometimes it's okay to and then the last one is say goodbye to and hello to so um, I've got to get 40 people's worth of that in here but we will see um how i'm gonna do it hold on a sec i forgot something oh i forgot the topic okay so we need to dismantle this book because i'm going to use this as um this was a thing back in the day if you look at gail agustin ellie's videos from early on um they used to do altered uh the little golden books altered golden books these are this one's new that i bought and i'm not going to be making this a junk journal per se because I'm going to just make it like a journal and I'm just using white paper guys and then I'm going to decorate it and then obviously you'll put it all together. So first things first we have to dismantle this and um, I need this tweezer and this I've got my uh, heat gun so I'm just going to heat this bit up because it's just stuck on I'm just going to heat this off because I want to take it off so I can use it again. So let me do that quickly right now i just want to remind you guys that this is an oven liner so it can take heat so don't be going doing that on your cutting mat or something so so that came off quite quite easily and i'm just going to flatten it out a bit okay now we need to take these staples out so i'm just gonna this is a very strong it's actually a printer's tweezer it's probably about 50 odd years old this okay up come on and up whoops come on you can do it there we go and then we just come this side and we get under here whoops don't want to do let me turn it this way so if I do scrape anything it's on this side okay come on just get you under there come on no, you're not straight enough I'm struggling a bit here okay don't want to break my tweezers come on then we're gonna have to go get my pliers I want to go have to get my players. Okay, let's make sure these two yokes are straight. And then we can get it out. Right, come on. Okay, you're out. Let's try and get you out. There we go chuck that in the bin before I stand on it right so now we've got this separated now this spine you'll see it's actually got a little dent in it but we're not going to be 
uh, we're going to be using it because I don't want to have to trim these pages that's why so that's why I'm keeping it this this size okay so this has got two signatures so I'm going to leave the signatures like they are and I'm going to just be putting pages so I'll put one two three four so eight eight I'm trying to work out in my head if I've got 40 of these I mean I can make one a pocket and stuff a couple in there so they don't, all don't have to be like, like cards or anything okay so um, so then what I'm going to be doing I'll do this off camera is I'm just taking an A4 and I have um, this is 120 paper so it's a little bit thicker and it's going to be a little bit shorter than our actual actual paper um, which is fine because then we can put lace and all sorts of things and then I'm just going to have to trim off a wee little bit off the bottom so I'm going to do that and I think what I will do is I'm going to make a spine as wide as this how wide is this thing this thing is one inch because I want to stick this back on the back on the on the back of the spine so we need to cut a one inch piece okay once again you're gonna have to hold on because I, I wasn't prepared right, guys. so this is a piece let's see let me just do my uh, state of the art cello tape to clip my my speaker my microphone cord on the side okay so this is just a piece of old packaging that I had for ages I think something for glasses bought glasses or something and I'm just gonna go like this and I'm gonna okay let's not cut the whole thing down to length because we might need the length so we need one inch okay I'm gonna just I just want to check if these markings are centimeters or inches okay these are centimeters I can't see I can see so there's one and there's an inch so these are centimeters so I'm gonna have to mark off an inch okay so I'll just use the the board to um, so, so I can cut and then I'm just gonna take this like that that's how wide we want it and I'm gonna put that down there okay let me just do an inch here I don't know why you're fussing woman just take your ruler mark an inch because this is an inch that's an inch get the old blade out that doesn't work oh wait now I put a new one in here guys see the nice the nice pointy point okay now try and keep that straight try and keep that straight let's press down firmly and let's go like that like that and just go don't try and push through everything all at once because um you're gonna struggle so you can take uh, a cereal box and just put the layers up I think this is actually the same is this the same depth as my it's probably a wee bit higher but just like like a smidge guys not even a sixteenth of an a smidge a smidge oh okay now we have to do this way okay now we're going this way oh my, oh my. did you see what nearly happened did you see okay so we need that to be like that make sure we that can stay there to keep us up make sure we're there come this way I'm lining my ruler up here so that I know that it's straight down there and then I can just go like that okay and then we should be done okay
okay so that should be done let's put that away before we do ourselves an injury um, I can put that away and now I can see that that make sure that the right side up is that right that's right I'm just looking have I done this properly making sure my edges are straight 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 does it does that look like it's a smidge it does eh? it is it is it is a smidge too high so there and there okay let's go again so get that back again I'll just use this one so it's just a smidge there and there, so it's not actually straight. Okay, let's do not do yourself an injury. Okay, there we go. There we go. Of course, it never works the first time when you fool me. Oops, wrong hole. Let's go like that. Let's have a look. and there we go perfecto right now we've got some i've got some tarvac paper here this is just like a woven paper it's got fiber in it so it doesn't tear so he, on this side we can be extra special so I'm thinking if that's an inch and then we do half an inch on one side, three quarters of an inch on the other side, three quarters of an inch, that's one, two inches, two and two and a half inches we have to cut this. Is this gonna be long enough? Yes, sorry. Okay, I think we have to use I don't know if it fit would it fit in there? Yes. So let me just go like this. There we go. Two and a half inches. I just want to see if it's too much over two and a half. Like that. Now before I cut the other piece, and it looks like I've cut it skew, but it's alright because we're gonna be doing the the inside of this one. If I go like that, that is I think nice. I'm happy with that overlay because does it come past here? Okay, let me go like this. I don't know why I put it all the way down. Because if I go like that, does it come past the edge? Barely. So I think I'm going to do this inside one three inches so we can get past this bendy bit. But on the outside, I am just going to do... Okay, we need a little gap. We need a gap. I'm just going to do it like this. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Now I have bought, I don't know if you watched Gail Agostinelli's um, uh, Etsy share this week. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to stop watching that guys. I just I'm just gonna have to stop watching. I can't control myself. I have no self-control. So and of course I'm doing this pro every time I every time she does it, it's related to the project I'm doing. So I went and bought the a mother's love kit, but I haven't got actually had the time to print it out. So um, I'll probably do that tomorrow morning. Um, I'm going to incorporate that in this project whether it's um, I'm not sure I'm going to actually do signatures put the signatures in I might it'll be great because I don't have to worry about the background so I can I'll have a look and see and um, but I'm definitely going to use it to decorate and that oh it's it's too beautiful it's too beautiful okay now which was the right side this is the long side okay so this one I said I'm going to do three inches let's hope three inches works and we want to make it straight three inches 
three inches like that okay and then I'm just gonna go like this and go like oops let's get this to the top so we can go like that and then just pull it over until we get to there there we go right actually these could make nice hinges okay so this will be on the inside because this has got a bit of a bit more width so we're going to stick this one on the inside like that so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to go like that okay and i want to get matte out because this is not slippery so we can put that down there so it won't move on us it might this one looks like it's bent anyway actually is that other side other side is the is the is the stick side there we go Although with this shiny cover right so we're doing like like a sixteenth of an inch between sixteenth of an inch between like that okay we need our few South African it's a society stick stick anywhere else kebab stick just saying right so I'm gonna just I'm going like that so it's my measuring stick where did I learn this I learned this at where did I learn this anyway we'll we'll do it now let's just we're gonna go like that go like that go like that get our fabric tack thanks Michelle for fabric tack okay my head wants to do it a different way sorry guys my head's gonna do it a different way I'm just going to do it this because I can see a disaster happening so I'm going to do it this way then me trying to line up things does not work especially when using this glue so I'm using lots of this glue because the um, the Tyvek paper is is quite uh, shiny but uh, we want to get glue so now I've pinched it in the middle so I know that's my middle so I'm just going to come down here and put that in the middle and make sure that's all straight so I'm gonna oopsie you see it's all slidey so I'm just making sure my bottom and my top are, are lined up I'm just gonna clear off that bottom bit not good for the nails but anyway just give that a sec to settle okay are you settling okay And does it look like it's in the middle? No, because I went and moved it, didn't I? Right, okay. Right. So now we are going to put this one down there and this one down there. Because that's the sh this is the shorter one here, so that's on the outside. Right, so we're going to just go like that. Okay, and now I'm gonna go like this. Okay. Come on, come on. I'm gonna go like this. This one looks like it's stand up and see if I shifted it up no okay let's get that down there looks like I cut this one a wee bit short but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter okay next one okay 
Okay, probably putting too much glue on, but anywho. Okay, let's go like that. Make sure that Just checking. Okay, I'm just gonna go like that. Okay. And then we're just gonna go like ways off. Ways off. We're just gonna give us a wee little foldy foldy so we don't have any. Where's this one stand here? that we don't get too carried away and we have a little bit of space a little bit of wiggle room to fold in okay this we're going to be sticking stuff over okay make sure everything's stuck down let me get a Get the old student card out and make sure the glue is gone where we want it to go. I need a well let's just use this one now. Let's get this glue off before I stick myself to this mat. Yeah, that could happen. Okay. Okay, now so that side's done. Now we can do this side. Don't know if there's a right or a wrong side to this stuff anyway. I'm just sticking the glue down liberally. Okay. Gonna be high at the end of this. Okay. Let's get that on. Let's get this now. That stickiness is my is me. Yeah on. Just get you off. There, okay, now, so we want to stick this over there we go. There we go. I like doing like this because now none of my title, my front page, oh my goodness, got some more glue on there. It's okay, we'll be able to get all of that down. Let's get some more space. We are doing it the right spot here. Yeah. Okay, so we will stick our, our this bit down. Uh, what I actually want to do is I want to flatten it out a bit more. So I think I, what I might do is just heat it with my glue gun just to get the glue more supple again. And then um, stick it on my silicone mat. It doesn't matter if it's sticky and put my sticker books on the top. But I will do that... Uh, when we're done. Okay. Get that out. Let's get some glue, glue to the corners. Okay. And then we will be sticking lace over this. Just want to make sure. Okay. We'll be sticking lace over the top of this and then this thing on top of the lace. Okay, so I just want to give it a bit more. We need more, more space in here, dude. Can you just come down a bit? Yes, I just need a little bit more, a little bit more leeway here. So you lads don't come off here. You need to stay on there. We can always come back and put some more glue down, folks. See, it's come down yes thank you and this one come down this way yes where's my card there we go 
there we go okay so now I'm gonna leave this so it can settle we don't want to move anything there we just want to put that down there right next things next I'm just gonna show you I'm not gonna cut them all out because we'll be here uh, till kingdom come so I just want to sorry I'm just gonna do this we, like I said I printed this on uh, 120 GSM paper so it's a little bit um, um, thicker than your normal copier paper and I'm cutting inside the lines the lines are just a guideline for me to actually place this on my on my A4 paper because we have A4 here and I just wanted it so I'm actually cutting off the black I just wanted a so I can kind of show you how I'm going to decorate them and then so I will get back to you once I've figured out the signatures once I've, once I've printed off um, the mother's love kit um, I will be able to uh, show you how we're going to put this together right so let me do um, this way uh, and we know that it's a little girl so um, I can pink it up as much as I want I don't know um, I would say she would like pink. Okay. Right. Now, so here was my thought, folks. Let's, fingers crossed, it's going to work. I've got, um, well, first of all, we need to, we need to round the, these corners. I'm going to round, round these corners like that okay so they round it makes it look a little just have another 38 of these to do okay and then I thought if we take this and I I'm just doing this way so I'm, I can make sure I don't um, And I don't mind doing that going off the page because we're decorating okay actually I do mind do I mind no I don't you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make this one a pocket and we're gonna put something nice pinky behind it yes and then what I'm gonna be doing I am going to be using aged mahogany which is of course not on my desk because I wanted to use it right folks I'm not so sure that I um actually I think this is H mahogany this one if um the flowers off the off the page like this are what I like okay so that's the one now the other idea was taking my edge trimmer okay let's just go so we can actually see where there's lettering actually let's just go to the edge of this paper and go like that there we go oh doesn't help her I, I took the watching and call it off they all sprung right so i think we need new scissors if this looks a bit better hey and i'm just gonna go like that and then I'm just gonna round this corner there we go so they're not all gonna look the same okay and then guess what guys I've got another idea 
Okay, so there are going to be some like that. This one, I think I'm going to actually get a piece of card and put it behind here. A piece of, let's have a look. What I have on, I've got so much stuff on my desk, I could probably make a whole journal. If I take a piece of card with the pink and just put this pink behind the flowers. Oh, I don't want to cut up a whole piece like that just for that little bit. Let's put that back. Um, oh wait, here, here's a piece of... Uh, oh, that was my shopping list. Uh, my packing list. If uh, that we, we, will, we want uh, pink for the flowers. Hmm. Okay, hold on a sec. Oh, wait, here. Here we go. Yes, here's some wrapping paper. We have loads of this. Let's go like that, folks. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go like that. I'm going to go like that. And that. Okay. And I'm going to go like this. Oh, excitement. New idea. Let's see if we can use that side. And I'm just gonna go just around these flowers, around these birds, like that. And okay. And then I just need to. Okay, I can straighten this out. I can just stick it on like that. Okay, stick it on. Stick it on like that. We might, we might have to... Here's me. I can cut a straight line, so I'm just going to be using this. There we go. And like that. Bob's your uncle. Love it. Love it, guys. Okay, so we'll have to do a few more like that. I love it with that pink and the bit of gold and that. Okay, so we got that. That's one way to decorate them. Here's another one. Now I got this other one. I'm gonna do more of those. I've got loads of that wrapping paper, so I can fussy cut. I can do where I want to do. Then the next thing is, um, what's the next thing? The next one I did, oh, I need to cut out another one. I need to trim another one. I've got this ribbon ribbon punch let me just okay so I was thinking if I I just did it I'm just worried that I okay I can come in a bit more next one I can come in a bit more and then um no, 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 I don't have pink, I don't have pink, but I do think I have pink in here. Um, I've got, I've got, uh, got like purple flowers, but I think We've got blue. We not have pink. We just want a thin pink. Oh dear. I got some bass binding that I made myself. 
Well, actually, I took bias binding and I sewed on top of it. So it was when I had a sewing machine that actually worked properly. Okay. We must have. We must have. We've got love hearts. Those are too. Those are. Those are too thick. I'm gonna look. Hold on a sec. That's too thick. Hold on a sec. I've got a scratch. Okay. I found some. I found this lace, which I kind of like. I got the shimmery shimmery. We can do some with shimmery shimmery. I got these little pink flowers. So let's have a look and see. Oh, too wide. Okay, that's not going to work. This might work because it's it's lacy and it's softer. Please fit in, please, please, please. Just need the old tweezers. Come on, come on. Oh, this is a bit fussy. I can't be messing with this. This is too, too narrow. But I will keep this little. I'll keep this lace because it's going to be great for the side of the pages. It's just such a lovely soft baby pink color. Okay, so that's too... That's too narrow. That's too narrow. I do have this um, really uh, fuzzy wool. We're going to get this through. Let me just, just stop fussing with that and just get my, my big darning needle. So, go like that. Come on. Like that. Like that. Or should we do it the other way? Let's do it the other way. Sorry. I wasn't thinking we need to come in this way. Hopefully we'll get to cover up all our big messes. And in there like that. And down there like that. And up there. Like that. And... Um, just it's either gonna look like that or it's gonna look like that doesn't really work does it but what we can do is we can just go like that and we go like this it's actually lovely soft wool this and we just go like that and we have me to get my bow the right way around to do it upside down. Go like that, like that, and there we go. What's that? Okay, yeah. Oh, saw somebody do some fancy smancy thing with their fingers. Anyway, it can just stay like that. Let's go like that. I don't mind that something different you just mind it out there put that there I might just um, yeah actually I think I might just do a few like that one or two or three not not too many because it's the the knot is is quite bulky okay folks so I've got to do another 37 of those um, so I will be doing these in front of the TV in the mornings when I'm listening to Nikki and yeah okay 
so that's it folks so I will work that and um, uh, I'll hopefully Friday I'll have done something and I can show you and then um, we can actually sew it together <coughs> so I'm just gonna yeah I just have to cut the put the pages to side I need to I think I'm gonna actually do that now while this is uploading to the computer for me to edit because I only have, I won't be, able, won't be sleeping tonight because I'll be editing videos um, and then get the pages together the cover will be dry and then we can start decorating anyway folks cheerio for now and I'll see you soon <laughs>